it on the 70 elders when the spirit of god rested upon them they started prophesying you know some funny thing happened here however two men by name eldad and midad who had remained in the tent though they were not among the 70 standing around the tent and also received the importation and they started prophesying <laughs> And it was because they were in close proximity to God's presence. In other instance, Saul set out to look for his father donkey that were missing. On the way, he met a procession of prophet, and the Spirit of God came upon him, and he also began to prophesy. You know, in the importation by the association, you know, I also say this is like a geographical. And you know, for example, we are all praying here, and suddenly a guy jump in who never know what we are doing, but some impact will happen just because he is in the realm. And I believe um, um, in the year 2008, I'm doing a, a healing crusade in the northeast of India, in, near to the Himalayas. We, did, we put a, a big banner, healing crusade. And also that we quoted the scripture, the blind see, the deaf hear, you know. And one guy, a lot of people showed up, and I started praying for the people. And suddenly, a guy who has a deaf ears, and I prayed in the name of Jesus, you deaf and mute spirit be healed in jesus mighty name and then i checked him can you hear can you hear he said yeah i can hear i can hear and then after the service i called my translator hey i felt a guy got healed from the deaf ear can you ask the guy to come forward share the testimony and we are just searching for this guy this guy disappeared and he don't know who is jesus he don't know uh um uh what they are talking this is the and i hear lately this guy showed up first time and then because he was there in the atmosphere of healing he was there in the atmosphere of prayer the lord compassion even though you don't know who is christ that guy got healed hallelujah and um, and i believe today the lord to the council of Issachar, to our importation by the association, as something a new in this time of crisis, in the time of pandemic, the Lord is about to store up, bring out a revelation and the healing and the prophetic, which is going to touch the faces of this earth, and is going to store it up. It's not a new thing. The Lord is going to repacking a new makeover is happening in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. There is a repacking a new makeover by this association of importation is going to take place amen and i want to just go ahead um, with another scripture proverbs chapter 13 verse 20 it says he who walks with wise man will be wise but the companion of the fool will be destroyed he who walks with the wise man will be wise, but the companion of the fool will be destroyed. The people you associate with affect your destiny and can determine how far you go in life. The people you associate with, with affects your destiny and can determine how far your, your go in life. Walk with the wise became a wise. For the companion of the fool suffers harm. And I want to just uh, go with uh, uh, another scripture uh, verse, um, uh, 2 Kings chapter 2. 2 Kings chapter 2. If you have a Bible, just turn with me. 2 Kings chapter 2. I love this chapter, 2 Kings chapter 2. Um, Elia ascends to heaven. Was beginning from one, and it came to pass when the Lord was about to take up Elia into heaven by a whirlwind that Elia went with Elisha from Gilgal. Then Elia said to Elisha, Stay here, please, 
for the Lord has sent me unto Bethel. But Elisha said, as the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they down, went down to Bethel. I don't want to take much time in this chapter, but I just want to point out, there's an association between Elia and Elisha. How the importation by the association happened. There's a four different places Elia is taking his transition, but Elisha was walking on the four different places. The first place was Gilgal. And Elia and Elisha, they're having an encounter at the place of Gilgal. Gilgal is a place of rocky place where nothing produced fruit. And they are meeting together, their association together. And then Elia said to Elisha, stay here. What he said, I will not leave you. And he, I, I like to follow with you. And then again, Elia is going to Bethel. And he is saying to Elisha, stay here. And he, he don't want to leave. Bethel is a place where Jacob got his dream. It's a place of dream. And then again, he goes to Jericho. And Elia said to Elisha, stay here. No. And you know, what is the place? Jericho is a place they conquered, the battle place. After you, you get a dream, you have something waiting. What is waiting? Not the bed on the roses. That's a battle is waiting for us. <laughs> If you get a vision, you're not going to accomplish the vision like, like uh, uh, just like uh, 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 the grass growing on the ground. No, we have to go through some challenges. We have to go through some, uh, some accomplishment. We have to face some crisis. You know, after Bethel, the place of dream, the next transit point for Elia and Elisha is Jericho. And then after that, the final destination, and Elisha, Elia said to Elisha, stay here. No, I, I'm willing to follow to Jordan. In between that, 50 men who also associated with Elia, looking from a distance, but only one man, understood the importation, what he carries, is willing to cross over to the other side of Jordan. And there he received the double portion. Hallelujah. We have to value the importation by association. What, only one man, Elisha, who understand the value of association with his master and the value of his importation he received back. And I just want to share some of my uh, personal stories. People love my testimony. You know, normally the full gospel businessman just, they call me, hey Prakash, I know we'll enjoy your testimony. You know, without test, there is no testimony. Amen. <laughs> without test, there is no testimony. You know, um, and I just want to honor my dad, you know, I, I, I worked in a, a IT companies in 2001 and 2000. Then I worked for an international school. So um, it's a residential school. And suddenly I didn't like the job and um, I left the job because I felt that I have a calling on my God. I want to have a ministry purpose in my life. And you know, the culture in India is different. If you leave your job, if you are jobless, nobody is going to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know and nobody's you are, if anybody come what you're doing oh i'm simply staying at home oh okay then you you lose your recognition and nobody's going to help you you're and you know and you know i left my job after i went to a small bible school then i went to um a, a, a good renowned bible college i did my masters then during that time you know i i have a lot of a vacation time, my dad, every time early morning, he asked me, get up, what? We are going for a pastor's conference, you know? He's 60 plus that time, 60 plus. And, um, and then we are going for a, a leadership seminar. What is that? Okay, early morning, we have to 
get up and take a bus to a two hours journey. And I remember one of the conference um, in Chennai, uh, John Maxwell Leadership Conference, trained the trainee and John Maxwell came 2000, I think 2000. And then after that four years training, trained the trainee, they trained 800 pastors. And every, every time, you know, early morning, we, we take a bus for an hour and 30 minutes, I go, then we come back like after the, the evening, after everything is dark. I, 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 I remember that my dad never told me go and work. My dad never told me get money to the house. He just provided my meal, he just provided my clothes, he just provided everything. But also you want to be his assistant <laughs> and wherever he goes, I have to follow him. My mom was just murmuring in his spirit, my brother and all my family, he's spoiling him, he's spoiling him. You know, he has to go to your job, he's getting old. You know, who is going to marry this guy? Jobless, nothing. <laughs> And you know, but my dad never said anything. He always wanted to take with me. So I, he, last year, he went with the Lord. And you know, every time when I go for an international mission trip, he pray a, 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 a prayer on me. And every, he will be on the airport. And whenever I come back to the country, he will be waiting, whether it's 2 o'clock early morning or whether it is uh, any time, he will be waiting for me on the airport and he'll give me a big hug. Then he'll ask me, how was the ministry? It was very good. And then after I started from 2010, many international countries, my mom and everyone, wow, God is using. And I became famous. And then a lot of preachers coming to my house. And then my mom, and then mom started, wow, very good. And then my mom, my dad told, you better you left the jobs. Now see, God is using you around the world. And then I realized 2002, when I was in John Maxwell Leadership Conference, there's a, who came with the big trainers, like, a, they are like a businessman, a big Maha church pastors who come and train the pastors who are associated with John Maxwell. And recently I was in North Carolina after I meeting uh, uh, George, Dr. George, and, uh, um, and after that, I text to a guy who is one of the trainer for the John Maxwell team. He lives in North Carolina, he's a mega church pastor. Hey, because he asked me, if you are anytime in America, anytime, text me, let's go for a coffee or a meal. So I text him, hey, what are you doing this Sunday morning? I'm not doing anything, can you come to my church? So another guy, you know, Brad, Josh, no, he helped me to drive to North Carolina, it's three hours drive, and he asked me, hey, can you share a little bit uh, about 10 years back, 15 years, what I did in, uh, in, uh, in Chennai about the leadership. I said, yeah, Pastor Matt, I can do that. And also pray for the offering. Yeah, I can do that. And then, you know, the big church, everything is timing. And, you know, my time came and then I shared, your seed is not stagnant. Your seed will intercede. 15 years back, yeah, 10 to 15 years, I, yeah, 15 years back, you sent your senior pastor to India to train 800 pastor on leadership. Today, you can see in front of you all, you all, <laughs> the fruit of the spirit, fruit of the seed standing in front of you. Hallelujah. And then everyone started clapping hands. Where in the world, all the way from Southern India to Southern people of America, how are you doing y'all? <laughs> I love the Southern lingos. I love a lot of, lot of my Southern friends. Now I'm, I'm more Southern lingo now in Florida. <laughs> so it was joy, you know, serving God. And I thank God because whatever the seed we sow today, it's not stagnant, it's still interceding. And some days we will find, or we will see, or we'll hear, the fruit of the seed which we are sowing today, maybe next five years or 10 years, or it may be a generation seed. I know one of the story um, Daniel Colonda was sharing during his first visit to, um, uh, to Africa, West Africa, Renard Bonke sharing a story. You know, Daniel, 
we found an undocumented story of David Livingston. What is that? David Livingston preached the gospel to West Africa and he was preaching for two people in 1800s. You know, we have flight that time is very hard. You won't get a bread in Africa. You know, now you get a bread or all kinds. There was much, much, much sacrifice in 1800. And he preached the gospel for two people. And, uh, and one guy heard the gospel. I preached the gospel for one guy. I'm not sure. Maybe this guy accepted Christ or not. And later, he told uh, uh, his undocumented what his journal they found out. From this day now, people will come to Africa. They will preach the gospel. Thousands of people in the field. They will hear the gospel. They will give their life to Jesus. And that day, may they will not forget as the watchman of the night. Hallelujah. And may they will not forget the watchman of the night. That was the journal written by David Livingston. And I always say, if I preach for a thousand people in my crusade, wherever in this year, this month, I have to be in Indonesia, but I'm here in Florida. But you know, one of the stadium, I got an opportunity to preach. But you know, but I never take any credit. Somebody sowed 100 years back. Today, God helped me to see the harvest on that night or on the morning. David Livingston sowed a seed. Many missionaries who arrived from Scotland, from Polish, from other countries, they died in 17 days, 20 days. Even they could not able to write the names. They put the number on the tombstone. 17. What does it mean by 17? Oh, they came to Africa. They died in 17 days. So we put 17 on the stone. It's still there. You know, today, I just want to honor the seed imported on the clan or that we make association with an importation. Hallelujah. And I thank God, uh, you know, in, uh, in 2 Kings chapter 2, as I was reading, how that one man who want to take an importation for an association, but 50 men looking from a distance. Hallelujah. And, uh, and I believe that um, the Lord is going to uh, do something in my life and in your life because my dad is no more. But 15 years back or 20 years back, he laid my hands, something he imported. He never traveled international. But you know, he only one time he, all of his life, he took a flight to India, to Malaysia, that's all. But because of his importation, because of his blessing, because of his prayer, or, you know, because of his seed, today, that seed through me is interceding. Hallelujah. And I just want to go for another story in the Bible, um, um, Mark chapter 2. I like, I, and then I like to pray for you with you all. I don't know how much time, but I just want to, a lot of things in my heart burning, I just want to share. And Mark chapter two, one of the amazing chapter, you know, Jesus was teaching, preaching, and healing the sick. Three kinds of people followed him. Some people followed to receive miracles and healing from Jesus. And some people followed, man, this guy has a good revelation, good teaching. He's telling a lot of stories, parables. Parable of the sower, parable of the kingdom, a lot of stories. So they want to hear a lot of stories, you know. You know, the grandpa and grandma, they have a lot of stories. Whenever you go with a grandpa or a grandma for a lunch or a dinner, they'll tell a lot of stories. You know, the Prakash, 1965, I was working there. They'll tell stories, a lot of stories, like parables. <laughs> so, you know, Jesus was telling a parable. You know, after Jesus was been um, 40 days, 40 night, and son of Nazareth, and after he was tempted by devil on the mountain, and after that, he, he was taking a transition, no more he is son of Nazareth, he started his ministry in Capernaum. And I was in Israel, I went to the town, and also that was, that was phenomenal, fantastic. And verse number two, Mark chapter two, verse number one. And again, he entered Capernaum 
after some days and it was heard that he was in the house and i believe maybe that was jesus house and you know when people hear jesus was in capernaum in his house and you know whenever jesus people always follow i told some people receive miracles to follow some people uh, followed him to receive good teaching and another kind of people you know they followed to find fall from him let's check this guy maybe he will do some mistake we going to just they they were looking him to find fall from him you see even in this chapter you deals with the three kind of people in this in this in this chapter when jesus was in capernaum this is a story about jesus forgives and heals a paralytic man there's a paralytic man was lying on the wayside i don't know it's not written in the bible but there's a paralytic man on the roadside he was on his mat on his bed and four kind of people looking at this paralytic man wow jesus in in the town let's take this guy to jesus and and this guy may receive his miracle you know when i was reading this chapter there's a importation by association by the three men is taking place who is this four kind of man and then i got a revelation hallelujah <laughs> and the first guy who was looking at this paralytic man is an apostle who is an apostle is a visionary who is a visionary walk in an identity of walk beyond vision speak into our life is a visionary and you know this apostle a visionary looking at this man wow maybe this guy i'm not sure maybe is in the early 20s or early 30s and looking at this guy i see a vision in this paralytic man not dying today or tomorrow or next month i am going to take this guy to jesus and he's going to receive a miracle he saw a vision on a dying man on his on his face side he is an apostle and he looked at this guy wow he stayed and another guy came behind this apostle who is this guy he is a dreamer who is a dreamer he is a prophet and then this prophet comes and looking at this guy dying in his mat wow and he's prophesying let's take this guy to jesus i see this guy is going to live is not going to die rest of his life in his mat and he's just joining with an apostle the prophet is joining with an apostle and then what he see he see in this guy a prophetic is not going to die is going to live hallelujah and third guy who is the third guy is a pastor is a strong man and the strong man is come joining with us with the apostle and then the prophet hey i'm also joining to carry this man to jesus okay he's joining the third man and the pastor you know what he does he teach okay how are you going to carry this guy okay let's let's have a two a rod maybe let him lift him up Okay, he's making an architecture work to carry the guy. <laughs> That's a pastor, you know. Pastor always lead us. <laughs> he has a teachable gift. Gift, and maybe the apostle was he was sharing his vision, and the prophet was sharing his prophecy. He's going. He's not going to die. He's going to live. But the pastor is doing his architecture work. Okay, let's 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 how we can carry this guy okay bring a bring the stool man let put a nail here okay okay let let flip this guy on this bed let's carry together and then when he was talking there's another guy coming you know maybe in the conversation i don't know what they are talking there's another guy the fourth man is coming who is the fourth man is a lover who have the heart of the father maybe the three man may be talking i don't know who sin this guy is dying he has paralytic all of his life i don't know why this man who sin maybe his forefather sin you know what the lover the father of the father the, the fourth guy the father say 
it is he, he says well don't judge this man <laughs> okay the heart of the fathers what their heart is the father as a lover even when you did wrong not judge but correct them even who is a father even though even you know i did a lot of mistake but my dad never judged me but rather he corrected me he is a father who have the heart of the father and final touch the heart of the father is coming okay don't judge man whoever sins are four fathers but we are at the end the fourth guy making a final touch about love to the guy let's carry to jesus and there are four men carrying them to jesus and all of a sudden too much crowd and then they looking at the visionary guy looking at the roof of the roof of the house let's break the roof let break the roof and then the pastor says let's do it man okay and then the and then the uh, um, the prophet says yeah, yeah 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 i know i know this guy if you leave this guy outside he may die we want this guy to be touched by jesus okay let's do it let's do it and then the father says okay let's agree together and then they they just unwrap the roof and jesus looking what's going on here <laughs> and then the paralytic man just showing up at the front of jesus and everyone just move 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 and jesus was sharing about you know i told about the third kind of group people and when jesus said your sins are forgiven and third kind of people looking at pharisees and sadducees where in the world this man have authority to forgive this man sin <laughs> and jesus no you know i know what's what you guys are thinking about me and then it's better you guys leave him or you want to see this guy get his mat and walk and jesus said your sins are forgiven take your mat and walk hallelujah and instantly this guy took he just left his mat and he started walking and everyone looking at him they were astonished and they praised him hallelujah and you know i just want to share a visionary and a dreamer and a pastor and a father raised an evangelist there's a fivefold ministry was the, the guy was a paralytic man he's an evangelist he i believe he didn't stop there he went out of his judea samaria and he preached the gospel what my i believe he might have preached the gospel my sins are forgiven jesus told my sins are forgiven i am healed then a guy may be looking at him yeah 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 i know you i know you you are lying on the way side on jerusalem on your mat i know you how come you are walking now how come you are in a perfect health you know jesus four men carried me to jesus and they laid in front of my jesus and jesus said your sins are forgiven and i'm healed and he might have declaring jesus from his jerusalem to judea to his samaria and to the ends of this year importation by the association played a vital role for that man to be an evangelist hallelujah today i just want to wrap up with a story i always talks about my late wife um uh, she's from canada and america she raised up in the um in the new brunswick state of maine uh, on the border and when she was 11 years old 12 years old her mom is a sunday school teacher and a home school amy carmichael book she had a amy carmichael book um amy carmichael is a missionary to india in 1800 uh, she came to india she came to my state and he want to she want to learn tamil and during the time of learning language he found a, a couple of um, and kids um was wandering and here and there and then when she was leaving the the town and a couple of ang kids they they just ran over into her um uh to her and they grabbed her legs don't leave don't heal that day the lord put a burden to rescue all the kids start a home for them and then she's like a, she did a massive work in uh, 
um, in in south of India in in mid of uh, um, I think in uh, at the end of 1800 and then early of 1900 and then and um, and and Amy asked a question in our life why I have a brown eye my mom has a blue eye she's an Irish lady and why I have a brown skin my mom has a white skin and she never thought that our brown eye and our brown skin made a valuable resource to rescue thousands of massive work of God in India so that the Indians we cannot able to give her a hard time for her. <laughs> I'm just saying. So anyhow, and this was a story was taught by her mom when Charity, my late wife, when she was um, in her early 11, 12 years. And she got inspired by the missionary Amy Carmichael. She started learning about India. She started learning about, about the missionary stories. And I, I never thought that she, that she was going to meet an Indian guy, going to marry her. And I born and brought up in India. I never been to Amy Carmichael place. It's just like um, a, a six hours drive. No, six, like eight hours drive from my hometown. But I hear about stories. So after we got married, and she want to go to India, and then um, she want to see the Amy Carmichael place. I called my spiritual son. He he studied in the school. Okay, we we talked to the we talked to the uh, the management in the school. We stayed there, and she felt very happy. She was enjoying, and she feel the presence of God. Even she did a recording about the story, and she told about her legacy. I want to do something like what Amy Carmichael has done. Wow. And uh, you know, and then, and I realized her simplicity of life, her missionary heart, even if I married an Indian girl, you know, the simplicity and then her, her flexible, she's ready, to, she's, she's ready to sleep in a floor where there's no bed. She want to, she, she's ready to travel with the public transport. It's very hard, you know, the season, but I see the missionary heart and the flexibility and then she's enjoying everything. And I realized something her mom sowed a seed about the story of Amy Carmichael when she was 12, 13 years old, that importation was associating in her life, even in her 30s. And when she came to India, man, she never been out of North America and she lived in a cold country and she's living in a hot country and I see her wearing a Indian dress every time there's no variety of food. Her song will be rise in the morning, rise in the noon, rise in the evening. That was her song. You know, whenever in India, you will eat morning rice, afternoon rice, and evening rice. So rice is the, one of the major food in India. So I didn't have much Western food. Then I realized, you know, the two years of time she lived and then her importation by the association. Today, yesterday, I talked to one of my aunties and how her life reflected and changed her. And when I hear the testimony, it was like, a, Lord, thank you, Lord. And thank you for that. So, you know, I just want to uh, thank you um, for her life and, uh, and her legacy and everything, you know. So I just want to close up. Um, uh, with my thought this uh, this afternoon, how the importation by association Elia and Elisha played a vital role, and how it helped a double portion. Elisha did a massive in the Old Testament, and then here in, when Jesus was on this year, the poor man carried the paralytic man. The importation by the in association, how that man not dying in his bed, but rather he became an evangelist, preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I believe today in this, the council of Issachar, the Lord is storing up something in our life through our importation, through an association. There is a new season is coming into our day to life. The Lord is about to store it up repacking for a new makeover is happening in our life and i believe in this time of lockdown in the time of crisis in the time of pandemic 
I, I just want to go back to Genesis chapter 1, 1. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. The earth was darkness on the faces. And the Holy Spirit was moving onto the faces of this earth. And the second verse, let there be light. And under a thousand galaxies was born by this one word, let there be light. Maybe that's now in 2020, before we beginning this year, a lot of prophecies came in 2020. It's clarity, 2020 vision. And all of a sudden, this coronavirus came. There's a darkness. There was a crisis. There's a pandemic. There was a lockdown. In where is the prophecy, Lord? Lord, you spoke clarity. But again, we are not staying at the chapter Genesis 1 1. We are moving to the chapter 1 2. Let there be light. And the Lord is again in this time, whatever the darkness we are facing, there's a repacking for a new makeover is about to happen in Jesus' mighty name. And He's speaking to the faces of this year let there be light. And we don't know, you know, I, I heard a story uh, recently. Uh, um, uh, th there's a pastor, uh, uh, and uh, I don't know, a lot of people go into a depression and they are, they are they're just ending up their life. The spirit of suicide and, and a lot of things happening, depression, all the stuff. But the Lord is saying this evening or morning, whatever time, through our importation by association, joining hands together, we are going to finish well, finish well, and finish well. Amen. Amen. Back to Pastor George. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Prakash. That's a lot to digest and assimilate and allow it to continue to transform us. I love how you talk about impartation by association. And that just stirs up all kinds of, of um, thoughts and connections about who we hang around with that as we hang around people that are in the anointing like here in this group and our friends around the world and our students that it is this impartation by association that stretches encourages builds our faith as we fellowship together and we receive this impartation and i love what you said about the power of words and seeds and we need to um let the Holy Spirit guide our words because we know that the power of life and death is in the tongue. It could be a seed of life or a seed of death. And we want to just release only seeds of life and encouragement wherever we go. And we have no idea. I've seen it. I'm sure everyone has seen it. When we have spoken seeds of life, seeds of salvation about Jesus, that we might hear years later of the seed bearing the fruit. And we we may not even know on this earth, but we'll know in heaven of the thousands, perhaps millions, that we've each impacted by being these seeds of life, faith, hope, encouragement, prophetic destiny to be fulfilled. Now, I want to allow time for questions and comments. Um, and also, and in the end, before we close, Prakash, I ask you to pray for all of us that we further receive impartation by association we have seen. Um, and heard of many testimonies through your hands of you prayed for people and even our good friend Dr. Fran has received some specific words and healings and she needs healing again too so um, let's open up for for questions and anyone have questions just unmute your microphone and feel free to ask Prakash a question or share a comment or revelation of what the Holy Spirit is doing because we're certainly in a time of waterfall flows of revelation coming in. Any questions? It's amazing how the Lord is, is speaking to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A child. <laughs> Feel free, anyone to share. So Dr. Fran, can you share, do you feel comfortable with sharing? Uh, I think it was last year when we asked Prakash to pray over the phone with you. 
and just share another testimony that will encourage the Lord to do it again. Sure. Uh, last year I was battling uh, non-alcoholic liver cirrhosis and I was just hanging on. It felt like by fingernails. And I, it was like they just more or less gave up on me and then my knight in shining armor for the Lord was sent to me and he prophesied over me and he prayed for me and he said and I forgot how many days you said it wasn't very long in three days I'd see something happen and in nine days I'd see something happen in three months it'd be a total change and I went to the doctor in three days and they said we're gonna have to redo this it's like the blood work something's not showing the same thing it was. So it brought me back and they said, blood works will be good, we're going to re we're going to put again. And some, about three months to the day he had said, I went in and they said, we can't find anything. There, uh, the only thing's a little bit of scar tissue on the liver, but it's not anything to it. You're doing great. And that's your prophecy that the Lord used you to speak through to me. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Fran, for sharing, and thank you, Prakash, for being in tune, in harmony with the Holy Spirit, to speak forth those words that be not as though they were, and to see that healing come, and to give such a specific date and timeline for Sister Fran. That was powerful. And she needs prayer again. Her body, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Fran, is not producing enough bone marrow. So she needs a creative miracle for bone marrow. So Prakash, if you'd like to pray again for that, we'll pray in faith agreement. Can I go ahead now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, let's agree together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, Lord, I agree together with um, our friends and family, um, the family of us. Uh, um, it's a car, Lord, CMM group, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we agree. We release, we prophesy to Dr. Fan in, in the name of Jesus right now. And I come against every spirit of fear out in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that, Lord, hallelujah, something he is stirring up. You are stirring up her to write, 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 write. But her hand is just shaking. She could not able to write it out, Lord. And I pray that, Lord, hallelujah, whatever the God has in store for her, Lord. It's happening. It is done in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that I prophesy right now, Lord, whatever the infirmity, whatever the medical reports she received, and I pray that, Lord, we agree together in one accord. We speak healing right now, Lord. We speak restoration in our body in Jesus' mighty name. And I speak, Lord, hallelujah, 3 John 2, Lord. Lord, hallelujah, in good health, Lord, hallelujah. And I pray that, Lord, every tiredness, Lord, and whatever the system which is uh, the bed corpuscle or whatever the things uh, which is uh, which is attacking our body, Lord, right now, Lord, we prophesy over into ourselves, uh, hallelujah, right now, come into a right alignment, Lord, come into a normal in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I pray that, Lord, hallelujah. Not only, Lord, I pray, we are going to hear surprising suddenly testimonies, Lord. And I pray that, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, Father. You're showing me that number 12, Lord, hallelujah. From this day, number 12, Lord, something is happening, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The governmental authority, I speak in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. You have your way, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. We've all witnessed miracles. We've been the recipients of miracles. And Lord, we thank you for this miracle new season where we can anticipate, we can await, we can hunger, we can be desperate for a move of your miraculous supernatural love, compassion of Jesus to be poured out, Lord, to heal the sick, to bring sight to the blind, that the deaf would hear. And Father, we just say more, more, and more as we just give the testimonies of Jesus on his healing touch and his miraculous hand. And Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Lord, and we release these words. Anyone else have a word or a question to share with Prakash? Or if you want to prophesy to Prakash, be free. 
Just unmute your microphone. Stefania, I know you're in Switzerland and you've been praying for Italy and that region in the Mediterranean. Um, you shared some briefly, I think it's just before we were getting started. Do you want to share and, and pray and prophesy to God's purposes for Italy and the Mediterranean? Okay, we can we can pray yeah, for this situation. Um, hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, because we know you are the almighty God and we trust you. We don't want to see the, the situation in the natural realm. We want to see the situation in, the, in Italy and in the Mediterranean region with your eyes, Lord. And we want to decree and proclaim that the, the, the devil will not have the last word on Italy. And this change that has been taken now in the government will no more go on with those crazy stuff. I pray in Jesus' name that everything that the devil has now produced in Italy will not succeed. And we we want to proclaim that you release your angel to, to stop every movement, every weapon of the enemy in Italy now, in, the, in, the, in this region of the Mediterranean Sea. And we pray that the, the word of God, your will, will be done. And you will move in a way that we will see a change. We will see people arise and take stand on your side in this in this moment and the truth will come out and the hidden things will come out so clearly that the people will have courage to change and to be near you in alignment with you for this fight and i thank you lord i thank you lord that we call out the era of the faith in this moment in this period in Italy, in the all the Mediterranean area. And we call for new revelation, new insights, new dreams in your people that they can stand up and raise up and shine in this moment. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Stefania. David Joy, you have something to release? Uh, no, I, I, I would like to ask prayer request uh, from uh, uh, pra, uh, Reverend Prakash too. Yeah, for my liver. So yeah, from my childhood, my liver doesn't work uh, like uh, perfectly. So yeah, would you please pray over that? And, yeah. Yes, so I, just, lay, just lay your hand, brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we speak fire over into his liver. We agree together in one accord, Lord. And Father, I pray the enemy who sowed the weeds among the harvest is the devil, but you are sending forth the harvest angel, Lord. And I call forth, you already opened the windows of heaven for your son, David Joy, Lord. And I pray that he will run, but he will not faint. There is a new circulation is happening, Lord. There's a new creation is happening in his lung. A new lung we, spray, we speak right now, Lord. And I pray that, Lord, from this minute right now, Lord, he is going to see some, uh, is breathing in and breathing out some changes, radical change. And that is going to be a sign that he is completely healed, Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray that every system uh, of his, uh, uh, the lungs is, uh, you're restructuring him, with Lord. And I pray that, Lord, Hallelujah. I can see the fire of God, brother, right now as I'm touching your, um, touching your hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, fire, Lord. 
fire right now lord thank you lord thank you lord hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah father i pray that lord hallelujah brother i see brother you will establish a medical hospital in your town the lord is saying hallelujah it's going to be a huge hospital i see even the government favor is coming uh, upon you you may see that uh, you are doing a full time job or something like that but the lord is saying man your seed is still interceding and i see that there's just a humanitarian resources is coming brother and that uh, somebody is disobedient the lord is exchanging the disobedience into your hand Hallelujah! Somebody is disobedient. What somebody is disobedient for Reynard Bonke is exchanged over into his hand, yes. and millions of souls has been healed and delivered and came to the Lord. In the same way, I see somebody is disobedient is exchanging over into your hand. Now I sense very strongly there's a huge uh, property like a medical health center is under the mountain somewhere. and also when people look at on the east side there's a huge mountain it's going to be like a like a like like a like a theme park it looks like that and the lord is saying hallelujah you're not came jumping by accident today there's a word just for you not only for your physical healing but and also there's a natural things are happening through you i see the favor of mayor i see the favor of the minister health minister and mm. i see but and all these things is happening by importation by an association and also you are prophesying to the minister in the political minister and all of a sudden something is happening through the prophetic word and that disobedient guy which he was just looking forward and the lord is turning that paperwork that project into your hand thank you hallelujah thank wow. you lord jesus it is turning into your hand and also the lord is saying hallelujah in next 7 years from now from 2020 to 2027 there is going to be a lot of establishment uh, projects building construction and like how moses they have 70 uh, elders and the lord is going to give you timothy's elders for you and i see 2008 2028 it's going to be a new beginning many celebration after celebration many ribbon cuttings uh, many ministers coming into your yard coming into your property sanctuaries even i see your name is coming on your national uh, burma national news uh, and uh, national uh, news uh, news and the media papers even in the front line um, of the media is, is coming says the lord hallelujah the lord is saying brother your winter is gone you are walking into your spring you're walking into the season of harvest mm -hmm. hallelujah father i bless him lord hallelujah and i pray that he is going to roar like a lion he is going to soar up like a hallelujah uh, like a eagle lord and also my brother i see in as the land is connected to kolkata that i pray that lord he is going to run like a cheetah the prophecy you gave from me for north america when i was here in in saskatchewan last year lord and i pray that lord the animal cheetah lord and also lord he prophesied to me he saw the elephant lord and i lord we exchange that prophecy today lord hallelujah with an association lord is something is stirring up is happening hallelujah we love you lord In Jesus name in Jesus name. <laughs> hey David, uh, so would, would you release the roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah? Yes. From down deep and loud. Roar! Um roar! Roar! And I uh as um maybe you hear the sound is as uh Reverend Prakash pray the rain started falling. <laughs> you maybe you hear the the noises of the rain. Mm -hmm. Hi. Wow. <laughs> Thank you Lord. Yeah. Thank you Lord. Just like Moses when he saw the bush on fire, he took off his shoes for he's on holy ground. I think this session is a holy ground moment that the Lord is continuing to take us up into his heart into his ways unto mount zion that we can turn aside as the whole world is paused and we can encounter the lord in his presence we thank you lord for this 
encounter. We thank you for this impartation by association. We thank you for our dear friends, Lord, that we would receive all that you desire us to receive, Lord, and we would believe, which is the work of the Father, is to believe, Lord, that we would believe the way you created us to believe, that we're taking the limits off because you're a God of no limitation. You know nothing of what's impossible, for all things are possible with you, Lord. We surrender and submit ourselves to you for your holy purposes, for your holy fire, that we would see into the realm of the beauty of holiness, that you are full of majesty, full of wonders, grace, mercy, revelation of extravagant love being poured out for us. Lord, you know every hair on our heads and you've ordered our steps. Every day of our life, you have ordered, Lord, you have set up divine connections in this holy setup of contiguous, continuous, overflowing grace and mercy. Lord, we can never thank you enough. We can never worship you enough. Eternity is too short for how much praise and exaltation we have for you. Holy God, ancient of days, Father of all creation. Like Prakash said, Genesis 1 and 2, Lord, that you, Holy Spirit, hovered over the earth as you brought form into the chaos and the darkness. In verse 2, you said, let there be light. And Lord, here we are, your vessels of clay, your lampstand, your vessels of oil, that we would stay continually full of your Holy Spirit in awaiting you, Jesus, our bridegroom, as you prepare your bride. And we equip the saints for the work of the ministry, Lord, until we all come into the fullness of the stature of Christ. We speak to, like you see, Lord, the end from the beginning. We speak to the completion of every purpose you created us for. We pray the blood and the bloodlines of Jesus around our, each of us, each other, around our families, our children, grandchildren, and the seeds that will hear the words of what we say and speak as we release the life of Christ in our day, empowered and inspired by the Holy Spirit, the Lord of glory. Lord, that many would encounter your Holy Spirit. We, we speak to the marginal Christians or the Christians that think they're Christians, but they're not. Lord, that they would have their eyes open, that you would uh, plow up the fallow ground and loosen the hardened hearts and loosen the stiff necks in our day, Lord, that the Holy Spirit would just do a love invasion everywhere we go, every shadow we cast, every handkerchief that we carry. Lord, that your fire would heal, save, and deliver those from the darkness and the bondage. In Jesus' name. Any other questions for Prakash or comments or prophetic words? I have a word for our Brother Christian <coughs> from Ecuador, right? Is there? Brother Christian is there? Kasabo, are you there? Oh, Christian. Well. Yeah. Okay. I, I just um, want to um, share, and even um, the Lord is saying, brother, um, um, you're going to have a physical atmosphere school. He's doing school in online, right? Yeah. The Lord is saying he's going to give you a property. You're going to have a school like a physical, physical, in a physical way. And I don't know, brother, because I'm from India and um, David is from Myanmar. We call Burma people, even in India, when I was born, I look like Burmese, they call Burma. <laughs> so, and Ecuador, we have a commonwealth. Without a visa, I, Indians can travel to Ecuador. And I don't know what it's all about, but there is an association. I'm from India, I represent, I born in India, I represent. I want to release a blessing, brother, on you. Health, wealth, and miracles will follow you from this day in Jesus' mighty name. And whatever the blueprint you have in your tribal, like a vision, 
about the school property or you want to build a sanctuary or you want to build a, a classroom structure and everything whatever you have brother and you never run after goodness and mercy and goodness and mercy will follow you you never write a letter to the mayor of the town the mayor will hear about you he will knock at your door says the lord and you never look for an opportunity but you will create opportunity says the lord and the lord is saying i am given you the authority my son i have given you the master key in your hand you have your master key but you are staying you feel like you locked down but the lord is saying put your key on the lock it's going to unlock i'm going to unveil some of the mysteries which is hiding for you put her in your town i'm going to unveil that says the lord a lot of mysteries has been hiding you're going to uncover all the mysteries you're going to hear you're going to see dreams and visions and also the lord is saying it's all going to begin you're going to just going to dig in some of the mysteries of the land and i believe that 200 years before as the missionaries came who walked miles and miles and you're going to unveil the mysteries and not only going to unveil the missionaries from north america or europe who landed in your ecuador and as you started honoring that seed automatically you're going to see the harvest in your land automatically the wealth is going to transfer in your hand automatically there is a, this an abundance is coming after you hallelujah and father and also i pray that lord from this day lord hallelujah my brother your family is going to see one after another celebration after celebration healing after healing signs and after signs wonders after wonders it's going to follow you says the lord hallelujah father i bless him under the anointing lord hallelujah thank you lord and he's going to be the mouthpiece for the government lord i speak that word i prophesy that lord and i pray that lord not only we are associated in now with an association uh, 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 the council of isaka lord and i prophesy lord he is going to rise uh, he will be a voice of council of isaka in his hometown hallelujah for his nation lord hallelujah and i pray that lord, even lord some of the mysteries as is publishing in his article that article is going some of the tables um, as they're reading who is this guy can you bring this guy to my office as he's entering over into this office lord and i see tears and i see they're opening the books of the stories the stories and the historic things and i their association is happening and brother can you do with this and i pray that lord more wisdom and knowledge from this day is going to rise for my brother lord hallelujah thank you lord and i believe brother the lord is going to give Give you your key you're going to bring unity in your land in the body of christ and in the and i believe that and also there is a national day of prayer you will organize him that is going to be the greatest day of history of you could have something the holy spirit again in genesis chapter 1 2 let there be light hallelujah you will stir up hallelujah the seeds of the forefathers back in your land to produce much fruit harvest John chapter 15 hallelujah i speak i prophesy and i pray that lord the prophecy of bob jones will fulfill in you could have in jesus name lord hallelujah what i preach in bob jones vision center lord hallelujah out of all the emptiness what the country going out they're going to be divine supernatural will come out of the emptiness lord hallelujah I speak right now and I prophesy under the anointing in Jesus' name, in Yahshua Amesha name. I speak shalom, shalom, shalom. Huh. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank yes, you. Lord. Wow. Woo! Woo! Fire. Santo yes. Fuego. And Fuego Fire. Santo. Yes, Santo Fuego. <laughs> hey. Hey. And Prakash, earlier I was seeing you in Philadelphia at the place of the Liberty Bell. And I see the Lord using you to help bring freedom and patriotism and revival to the United States. We know it doesn't make sense, but God is not a God of logic. And I saw you like standing with uh, Benjamin Franklin and you were releasing parchments of ancient wisdom and wells that helped found this country on our Judeo-Christian foundations. And the Lord is gonna help you 
to protect and preserve our republic in the United States and to draw people to the God-inspired Constitution and the Declaration of Independence and our Bill of Rights that is going to release a fervor for the history of, of Christianity in America and the great purposes that the Lord has for America to spread the gospel continually until Jesus returns and that the Lord is going to use you to even sign new documents, new proclamations that are going to help set the captives free in this country. And you're going to be a surprise and people say, where did this guy come from? He's from India, but the Lord has sent you here as a messenger of his fire to release the holy fire in our nation that's going to restore people's faith in Jesus Christ. It's going to restore the principles that made our country great. And I see you training up and, and releasing after equipping new pioneers for the land and coming up with new discoveries, new inventions, witty inventions, but also ideas that are going to impact all of areas of technology, government, even media and entertainment and sports, that the Lord is opening doors for you with government leaders, ministry leaders, corporate and business leaders that it will shock and astound you. And you say it only has to be God because you had no idea. So be prepared to be surprised in the suddenlies that are coming very soon with new invitations, new doors open, that the Lord is rolling out the red carpet of his favor covered in the blood of Jesus as he takes you into new places, new environments, and he's going to uh, dress you up and take you to town in places that you didn't think that you could go, but with God, all things are possible. So get ready, get ready, get ready, Brother Prakash. Man, I received that, I received that. Thank you very much, Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Any other questions or <laughs> words for Prakash? Jump right in, unmute yourself. Okay, going once, going twice. Kelly. Um, thank you, first of all, it's been so good. I've been very blessed. Um, I feel like your story of your father resonates with my own father, so that's is extra special. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> Prakash, you have a word or a prayer for Kelly? Yeah, yeah I have a word. Before uh, I was about to start, she started. <laughs> Your Canadian geese are coming, sister. <laughs> Good, eh? <laughs> Your Canadian geese are coming. The cornfield is ready for the harvest. And the Canadian geese are showing up. Your winter is gone. A new fresh is coming. You are a woman who travail, you quench your pillows with tears. And the Lord is saying, I'm bringing you a new joy. And you will sing a song every day. This is the day the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and I will be glad. That will be your new song, says, says, says the Lord of hosts. And whatever the turmoil, whatever the, the trespasses you passed, it's no more, it's no more. You already crossed over. You passed your Gilgal, you passed your Bethel, you passed your Jericho. You're now looking at the Jordan. Lord, how am I going to cross over to the Jordan? But the Lord is going to give you two signs in you. One is the flag on your left and the right, the sword on your right. And you're going to just use the two signs to cross over to the other side. And the Lord already poured the double portion on you. The Lord is saying your winter is gone. Why he said like that means you have a lot of gifts which is hiding inside you. But an I see today there is a repacking for a new makeover is happening. Your eyes will see nations. Some of the dream lands in your bucket list is still holding. How is going to happen? But the Lord is saying, I'm going to send my camels to you. Mm -hmm. The camels are coming on your ways. You're going to get a ride on the camels. Your eyes not going to see, you're going to see. Your ears not going to hear, you're going to hear. 
And I see there is an importation by this association right now in the Zoom. It's happening right now. And I know that you're stopping something and something which is which is which is want to breaking out break out. But the Lord is saying, just release it, just release it. I see there's a softness is coming. And I see out of the darkness, there is a light is going to penetrate on your life. And you will never again going to be the same. And the power of the anointing of God, the prophetic unction, the prophetic office you move. There is a next realm is going to have, is started already in you, in Jesus' mighty name. And you are a woman of influence. You have a great potential of leadership. You know how to move the coin. You know how to connect the dots. And you know how to connect the prism. But a lot of yeah, potential you do have. But devil knowingly, unknowingly, making you a wrap-up, making you an hiding. But the Lord is saying today, my daughter, come out from your tent. I already given you the promises. And I already given you the prophetic. And already given you the resources. You just come out from your tent. Look up the heaven. If you count the stars, indeed, so shall be your offspring. The Lord is going to give you a lot of spiritual daughters. The Lord is going to give you a lot of spiritual sons. And whatever the writings, whatever the, the, the books um, uh, you are about to going to publish, uh, and that is going to import, not only going to import, that going to make an association with you. Hallelujah. Father, and I pray right now, Lord, my sister Kelly, Lord, from Jerusalem to Judea, from Judea to Samaria, and to the ends of this earth, Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord, you're going to accomplish the mission and the vision and the task, Lord. And I pray that, Lord, hallelujah. And I pray that, Lord, and I see, sister, because of you, Canada is blessed, your prayer. Because of you, your neighborhood has been blessed. Because of your prayer, I see even some of the darkness which has been about to bring forth, which you want to mess up your neighborhood because of your prayer. The Lord is just sending his healing rains. And Father, I pray that, Lord, restoration, recalibration, and then, Lord, hallelujah. And I see even, Lord, um, uh, there's a reclaiming is happening, Lord. Hallelujah. I bless her, Lord. And I greet her, Lord, according to Lord, her, one of her favorite verse, Psalm 21, 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I will not lack. And I pray that, Lord, from this day, our song will be, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. And I pray and I release the joy anointing, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. Lord, Lord, hallelujah. Even in her pain, Lord, she will be smiling at her pain, Lord, hallelujah. Because I am just worshiping a, a victorious God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I bless her in yeah. Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. Hey. Kelly, as Prakash was uh, prophesying to you, I was seeing you like, like on a um, um, tight wire, like in a circus holding the big long bar for balance and it's it's a new walk it's a new gate g-a-i-t that you're learning to walk and to balance and as i saw you go along you were you were trusting the lord you had your eyes on jesus and you let go of the pole and you took step after step by faith and then i saw you starting to do flips and somersaults with no balance beam on the high wire. That it's a, it's a new walk, it's a new learning curve, walking up high by faith. It was scary at first, it's already getting better, and soon you'll be dancing on that high wire with the Lord holding your hand. So Andrea had something. Andrea. Hey. hey. Um, um. I was, uh, while well, I was hearing Prakash and I was looking at you, I heard uh, just the word fountain of and never ending water. And I said, and I heard the Lord saying, as long as you keep aligning yourself to you, like as long as you keep uh, humble and on uh, laying your life to me, 
you're going to become a, a well that with never ending water. And I see the river of God flowing through you in powerful ways and just uh, flowing. And, and I saw two, two sides. I saw really, really dry lands becoming fruitful. But I, I also saw this uh, green lands also but they needed uh, living water because they were being they were being um, watered with with some uh, contaminated water and the fruit was sour and unbitter. And he says that even like people who proclaim that they are Christians and they are listening to God, they are listening to contaminated water, and you're gonna bring this pure water that are gonna be make the fruit sweeter. Uh, taking um, because you're gonna stand with righteousness. Uh, you're gonna stand up with righteousness, and you're gonna show the contamination in churches as well. You're gonna show um, pride, and you're gonna show um, you, even words that they have been sharing that doesn't align to the word of God. Uh, and and I see you with love in one hand, but I. I saw you with an axe in in the other one, cutting uh, things that are, have been uh, rising from churches that are not from God, uh, and the Lord is saying that you don't you don't need to be afraid of this next season because uh, He's gonna put words in your heart that are gonna be um, strong for people, but He's gonna be in front of you and behind you to just give you the boldness to share what he has to share. And as and even if you feel that you're gonna destroy one person with the word of God, he's gonna give you also the word to restore them and to get them back to the, the path because uh, the Lord says that it's gonna be a lot of glory for one of his sons ha that has lost the path. So you're gonna be that light. I, and I see you like, um, I don't know the name. I don't remember the name of the uh, a lighthouse. I see it like a lighthouse whenever it is it, kind of a blurry division for a lot of people and they are seeking the Lord. You're gonna shine and you're gonna show them the path back to the to the heart of that. So he's gonna um give you the tools for restoration and uh, righteousness uh, and bring righteousness to the church as well. Amen. So that's what that's Great word. Thank you, Andrea. Anyone else? We want to welcome uh, John Sennon and Aurelius Jordan. John's in the Midwest. He was a missionary for years in Kenya and has a beautiful family. And he grew up in uh, Montana, I think. And now he's uh, moving to the Ozarks for new adventures down there. And then Aurelius Jordan from the Bahamas is uh, graduating soon with our school. And uh, John, do you want to share anything as we uh, wind down here in the next few minutes? He's got four kids he's watching, so he may be busy right now. Aurelius, how about you? Welcome. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. Any other uh, words or questions? Uh, Gasabo, go ahead. Um, I have a word, a word for Prakash. Um, I don't know how do you like fix. What's that? Fix. You know the fruit? The fruit? Yeah. Fix. Yeah. 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 Do you like that fruit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, God is telling you that you will be like fig, like Jeremiah 24. And he's saying that, uh, and I'm confirming the word that um, George is saying to you, was saying to you, that you will be one that God will use to edify, and he won't destroy the things that you will uh, edify. And mm -hmm. he will put you again on the earth, and like a, a seed, and then you will produce many fruit, like the, the fig tree. And the flavor that is coming from you is uh, very sweet. And the words that you will uh, produce will uh, bring healing to the nations. Amen. 
Revelation 22, yeah. 1 through 3, Estefania. Thank you, Gustavo. I, 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 I follow a bit Gustavo because I had the impression, and I was not sure, this is why I, w I was waiting, that you will be used in an un unusual ways, in ways that are not expected to you. Maybe, maybe that you say, why am I, am I there, Lord? But the Lord knows. And I had just this impression, he will use you in unexpected ways that can be not comfortable to you, not the usual mm -hmm. one, but it's, it's, it's the Lord. He, he will use you and he will, he will be with you in this specific moment. Mm -hmm. This is the impression. Thank mm -hmm. you, yeah. I'm already there. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my ministry is just show up. <laughs> We know that feeling. I think we're all there. Yeah. I love that about you, Prakash. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Any other uh, questions or comments? Uh, Prakash, I'd like to ask you to uh, pray for us, and then um, I'd like to ask Dr. Nancy to close in prayer. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful time of sharing, and thank you for the the importation or association with CMM. And Father, thank you. What a joy, Lord, as the scripture says, Psalm says, be, go, be bold, our good and present brothers to dwell together in unity. And I know, Lord, that you have, you have given us a bigger task, Lord. And Lord, we are going to cross over many times to Jordan and to, do, to, do, to receive the double portion. And we are coming back and to, Lord, store up the Jordan, the store of the Gilgal, Bethel, and Lord, um, um, uh, 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 and then the Jericho, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, I pray all the tasks you are given into your hand. Lord, I pray for all my brothers and sisters who are joined today, Lord, and also who are not able to join. We remember them, Lord, wherever they are, Lord. And I speak health, wealth, and miracles. And I speak health, wealth, and miracles. And also I pray for our sister uh, from Switzerland, Lord, Stephanie, Lord. And I pray that, Lord, you got us, uh, you have planted a, a seed there, some purpose there, Lord. And I pray that, Lord, hallelujah, something, you will store it up. And I pray that Isaiah chapter 22, verse 22 for her, the key, the house of David, I will lay on your shoulder that you will unlock. And I pray that Isaiah 22, 22 will, Lord, I prophesy the verse for Stephanie, Lord, hallelujah. And thank you for the pastor, uh, Dr. George, Lord. And thank you for the, uh, Dr. Nancy, Lord, hallelujah. And thank you for all the people who have been associated with the CMM, Lord, hallelujah. All the ordained ministers, Lord, hallelujah. All the projects, all the missions mm -hmm. that they are, they are accomplishing through the help of the Holy Spirit, Lord. And I pray that, Lord, that every seed which they're sowing on the ground, and I pray that we'll yield 100% harvest, Lord. Have your way, Lord. I give all the glory and the honor to you and holy, holy name, Lord. Mm. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Yeah, thank thank you. you so much, Prakash, for that impartation by mm. association. We count you as a dear friend. We're privileged to know you and to love you and to learn from you. You have your fountain of life and supernatural holiness, and we receive it in Jesus' name. Nancy has to get off for a class soon. So I'll close out in prayer. Bless you all. Father, we just thank you for these hungry hearts. Hungry for more of you, Lord, more of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you that you call us into this place where we can stand on holy ground in your presence. We can turn aside from the busyness. We can turn aside from the world, from the negativity, from the attacks and the plans and the strategies of the Antichrist spirit. And we look to you, Lord that you are our all in all. There is no plan B. Our lives belong to you. We are new creations in Christ Jesus. Lord, and we walk in boldness and faith, surrender, lay down lives as we love you, Jesus, and we keep your commandments and we want to love you even more. Lord, help us to reach thousands and millions, even the ones and twos that you send us to, Lord. Let us be ready instant in season and out of season. Lord, to be your obedient vessels, to always give you glory and praise and honor, Lord, as we humble ourselves before you. Bless each one, bless their families, homes, and ministries for the days ahead as we approach the Pentecost in this historic times, Lord, of the Holy Spirit moving with great fire and change. Take our, the limits off of our perceptions because you are a limitless God. 
Lord, and you created us in your image. Help us to be who you created us to be in fullness, walking in the fullness of your joy and giving you glory in all that we do. We thank you for souls being saved, healed, delivered, and set free on the path of life for all eternity in Jesus' mighty name. Bless you all, and thank you so much. Thank you, Prakash. Thank you. It's a great honor. Bless you all. Thank you, Prakash. Thank you. Blessings upon you. Thank you. Amen. Bye, Steffi. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Kelly. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Frank. Bye-bye.